Sometimes things come back, mate. Savvy? The time is upon us. Every pirate on Earth must stand together. Action! We have all these new characters. New arenas. Can't wait for the audience to see it. All of the main character stories come to a conclusion. It's massive. It's bigger than Dickens. That would never have worked out between us. Keep telling yourself that, darling. There was a time when a pirate was free to make his own way in the world. But our time... When you make a picture like this, you want something really spectacular, it's fresh and different, and, you, and something that an audience has never seen before. That's what's exciting about our next film. You know, it's just gotten bigger and bigger, really. I mean, when you've got Jerry Brockheimer behind it, it's not like it's going to shrink. The scale of this film has been absolutely mind-boggling. The very nature of these kind of films is, you know, you make another one, it's got to be bigger, louder, faster, better. The sets are incredible, and, and I think that's one of the things that you can certainly say about Jerry Bruckheimer films, is it does get bigger and bigger and bigger. The biggest challenge is to entertain an audience, and we try the hardest just to make sure that they have a great time. We had a director who's as brilliant as Gore Verbinski, who gave you such a thrill ride in, in the first two movies, and it even takes you further for this movie. Gore is just amazing. Gore is a superstar. He's the heart and soul of the whole of production. If you wish to see its grand architect, look to your left. Well, as an actor, you could almost not read the script at all and just rely on Gore. He knows exactly every point that needs to be made. He knows the dialogue. He's just a wizard. The thing that makes it all kind of come together is when you see Johnny and Kira in Orlando going through the paces of what Gore looks so hard on. Uh, for years. Where's the drive spot? Let's shoot. Where's the, where's the camera? Let's go. Jack Sparrow is one of the nine pieces of eight. So we must go and get him back. When we pick Jack up again in, in P3, he's in Davy Jones' locker, which is a hell. For Jack, it's the worst face you can imagine, stretching on forever. Jack Sparrow is taken to a place, not up the it but punishment. How can you improve on Jack Sparrow? For the third movie, Jack Sparrow, he goes on more of a journey like we all do. Which way are you going, Jack? Jack is the one we all want to be. I think that's why Jack's become such a potent and fascinating character for people who are 8 to 80. Who am I? I'm Kevin Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Did no one come to save me just because they missed me? Performing Jack Sparrow in that way, Johnny's take on the character is fantastic. I'm standing over there with him. It's very moving, isn't it, the idea that people feel this very strong connection with Captain Jack. For the fans of Captain Jack, Johnny will amp it to another level. You're mad. Thank goodness for that, because if I wasn't, this would probably never work. The world needs your back up and fierce. Captain Beckett has the heart of Davy Jones. He controls the Flying Dutchman. He's taking over the sea. Leave you people alone for just a minute. Look what happens. Everything's gone to pot. So that plot's put in place. And on the way, we, as the central characters, constantly have our own agendas. What is it you want most? He's not quite sure what Barbosa wants to do. I think he just wants to make sure it's safe for him to, to get the Black Pearl back and roam the seas and pillage and plunder. Barbosa! Ahead! I we're good and lost now. When he re-emerges, he actually comes back to play the pure rivalry with Jack. What are you doing? What are you doing? No! What are you doing? What are you doing? Captain gives orders on the ship. The captain of the ship has given orders. 
It's great to have Jeffrey back, and it's also it's great to have Barbosa back in in this capacity because in three it's like the odd couple. You know? It's like we're like a couple of old ladies. Well, when you put it that way. I wanted to play Orlando Bloom's role, but he'd already got it. So I said, oh, okay, give me the give me the old guy. I'm happy enough. Elizabeth Swan. Elizabeth has her own path and gets caught up in a in in the world of pirates. She was a young girl who dreamed of how exciting and adventurous it would be to be with a pirate. She isn't the same character from the first film. And there wasn't really many places you could go with that kind of damsel in distress thing. She sort of turned into a bit of one of the guys. William, tell me something. Have you come because you need my help to save a certain distressing damsel? Or rather, damsel in distress? Either one. No. Will has made his priority rescue his father, save his father from the deal he's made with Jones. There is a promise that has been made to rescue him. He's coming for me. It's very much the motivation behind everything that Will does, but he still loves Elizabeth and still wants to gain her back into his life. I'm losing it, Jack. Every step I make for my father is a step away from Elizabeth. The enemy has opted for oblivion. Ready the fleet. Beckett, who's the head of the East India Trading Company, is trying to take over the seas. He wouldn't want to have anything to do with Carla Beckett. He plays one character off against another. Do you fear death? Ah! No idea. You remember Davy Jones from two, and you know he's a fierce competitor and has the flying Dutchman, which comes up from out of, out of the sea. So now, uh, with that controlling is Davy Jones's heart, they're eradicating the pirates around the world. He's no longer the free lord of the seas because he's now enslaved to Lord Cutler Beckett. The Dutchman sails as its captain commands, and its captain is to sail it as commanded. Captain Barbosa, welcome to Singapore. Xiao Yong Fat is a masterful actor. He's international star. He's our uh, new character that joins our trilogy. You are so fake. The pirate lord of Singapore. Barbosa and Elizabeth they show up in Singapore to meet with Sao Fang, called the Dragon of Singapore. You intend to attempt a voyage to Davy Jones' locker, but I cannot help but wonder. a map uh, that will take you to Davy Jones' locker. What is it you seek in Davy Jones' locker? Jack Sparrow. He's one of the pirate lords. 